for a look at the forecast, Dave. Well, the beautiful weather continues here across central Alabama. You can see a lot of sunshine from our BJCC camera downtown. Temperatures 79 degrees, a north wind at 7. There's dew points in the mid 40s indicating dry air. Look at the humidity, 29%. Be careful with burning out there again. Uh, with a little bit of a breeze, it won't take long to get a little brush fire going since it's been so dry. It's 80 in Fayette, the warm spot at 78. Tuscaloosa, Alabaster, Asheville, and Anderson now 77 to 79 for the rest of the area here. And this afternoon, you may see a couple high clouds coming in, otherwise plentiful sunshine as temperatures which is due warm up to the lower 80s. And then by dinner time, we're looking at 78 degrees there by the 5 o'clock time frame. Getting to 83 from Gadsden all the way to Birmingham. Jasper and Coleman, 84, Tuscaloosa. Hamilton about 82. See if you innocent Talladega back to Alabaster for the day today. And on average, we should be 80 degrees. Taste of Hoover is tonight at Aldridge Gardens there in Hoover from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Temperatures going from the 80s through the 70s there by 6 o'clock to 66 when the event comes to an end. So recommending once that sun sets, you probably want that jacket or sweater with you, especially if going to be outdoors. Now tonight we're looking at lows still in the upper 40s in Gadsden at 49 but 54 here. Alabaster Clanton 53, 55 Tuscaloosa, Jasper Fayette Hamilton about 52 for your lows. So still a little bit cool out there as high pressure builds in. You have that sinking air keeping things high and dry but we're waiting for this cold front to move in. There's a little rain around the Great Lakes but by the time it gets down here not going to have any rain with it so we're going to stay pretty dry. So with that in mind we are looking at overall uh, still some quite weather here. The latest drought monitor map is now coming in showing some areas of abnormally dry or moderate drought here starting to show up uh, just beyond the yellow to the northern part of Alabama and to the south. So middle section where Birmingham is here in central Alabama, not looking too bad, but we're not expecting much in the way of rain out there. Above normal chance for rain for Texas on October through 11th through 15th. We may see a little rain late next week if we're lucky. Models are hinting at possibly late next Thursday into Friday. Another front moving in with a little rain, but not today and not with the front tomorrow. Notice a couple clouds coming in. That's about it. We will see cooler weather coming in though for Saturday and into Sunday, but that's really about it. Otherwise, we're going to see plentiful sunshine and perfect weather this weekend for anything going on, including the Coleman County Fair, which does begin tonight. Opening night uh, gates open at five o'clock. Temperatures go from 74 there at six o'clock to 64. So recommending bringing a jacket or sweatshirt with you. High school football looks great for Friday night. Kickoff temperature 75 falling to the 60s. So may want that jacket or sweatshirt again. As for the weekend itself, 72 to 75 Saturday and Sunday. Day. Cooler, just perfect weather, we'll call it. And for the Auburn game over in Athens, a little warm, 80 degrees to kick off, 230 here on CBS 42, by the way. UAB's game looks pretty good downtown against Middle Tennessee State for their homecoming, 76 to kick off at 230. And right here on CBS 42, doubleheader, we have the Alabama Texas AM game. How about 63 a kickoff in Tuscaloosa? Definitely have your warm Alabama gear for that game. After that, we do warm up for the weekend, a little, or actually next week, into the lower 80s. Lows will be in the 40s to start. But again, 82 by Wednesday. All right, Dave.